Mishnah Hay. So now we go back to the regular Shabbos things. Again, we're talking about how much measurements we, are you obligated when you take things out. Mishnatenu ve'elach chozrim benishnim shiurei ha'otza. From now onwards, we are going to mention how much a person needs to take out in order to obligate it in different things. Hamotzi etzim, somebody takes out wood. Or in our example, fuel, paraffin, gasoline, whatever it is. Hamotzi etzim b'shabbat. Shestamam le'asaka undim. That usually, why, why, what is wood? Wood was used at the time for fuel, to make a fire. So how much wood are you going to be obligated when you take out in order to be obligated um, a stoning or uh, to bring a sin offering? Shiuram, so the measurement is Kedei levashel beitza kala In order to cook a beitza kala, an egg. So the measurement it takes to cook an egg. Let's see an exa- the example exactly. Hainu, kedei levashel kegorgoret mi bitzat You don't have to cook the whole egg. We said, what's the measurement for food? It's a fig. So if you have enough wood, that if you take an egg and you put it in the pan, it will cook a fig, the amount of a fig of the egg, then you're obligated to read. We're talking about, this is on a pan, you know, you've got, let's say, scrambled egg with oil, this is already hot, how much wood you need, you're going to only put a little bit, like a fig, how much wood would you need to make this, to cook this egg? For example, you go from your house to shul, and you've got a little bit of uh, in your pocket, like small little woods. I know. Let's say you you, you were walking, right? And you have something came into the your pants, or you you, you left a little bit in your pocket. So do you need to bring a sin offering? If it's just one or two, maybe I don't know. We need to measure if it's enough to cook. The thing you need to be able to and if you do it on purpose, yeah, yeah, it's in your pocket, or, or either in your pocket or in your hand, whatever the, the case is. Yeah. Tavlin, what about if you're taking a spice? How much if you're taking a spice out? Hamotzi Tavlin, Hainut Smechim or Besamim, you take out. Pepper or I don't know mint. Shemetablim by metatavshil that you spice the food with them. Shiuram kedel letabel beitza kala. The measurement is in order to spice a small egg again, like the fig, which is almost nothing. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. You're already obligated. Chavita shel beitza a little bit of. An egg of a tanegolot, umit tarfim zein ze, and they join each other, which means that if you take a little bit of salt, just like two two grains of salt, and you spice up the egg, it says ah that's that's not enough two grains, but you take two grains of salt, two grains of pepper, two grains of everything, and it all comes and now it's enough, then we're going to join all the things together. Call me you join together all types of spices, mitzterfim lishuratza, they come together when it comes to take it out. Sheim otzi adam, tavlim shonim, v'yesh ben kulam, k'deter b'tzakala rechoyav, even if you made a mixture, and each one is in, in his own, is not enough, but all together are enough, then you are obligated. Klipei egozim, what about the shells of nuts? How much are you obligated? Haklipot hayerakot she'ala egozim ba'odam lachim. This is the green shells on the nuts when they are still wet. Klipei rimonim, the shells of pomegranate. Estis, or estis, what's an estis? 
עשב שעושים מן הצבע כחול, it's a grass that you made from it blue color, הוא פועה, או פועה, שורש עשב it's a root, שעושים ממנו צבע אדום, that you make from it red coloring. כל אלו שיהיו רן, all the things they used to do, use them for coloring, that's what you people use them for, so it's the smallest amount to color. Now, what's the smallest amount to color? We don't know yet, so let's see. כדי לצבוע בהם בגד קטן בסבכה. In order to paint with them a small um, clothing that is on the head. That's right. חתיכת עריק התפורה בראש הסבכה. This is a small little clothing that we tie at the head of the headpiece. שהיא רשת שאנשים נותנים על שערות ראשם. That this is uh, like a net that women put on the hairs of the head. ויש גורסים כזבחה, והיינו כשיעור הצריך לצביעת בגד קטן כמין צבחה. And this is the measurement that people need to, for the smallest clothing. In other words, it's the smallest garment that you can have. In our time, what will it be? Probably a kippah. Right? The smallest garment that anybody wears is probably a kippah. So if you take enough ink, all these things are ink. They're not ink themselves, they're just the roots. But you can make from them enough ink to color that uh, parchment, let's put this, let's say this big, then you're obligated. May regline. How about um, P? Urine. ונטר ובורית וקמוניה ואשלג, all these things, I'm not quite sure what they are, they're a type of, of uh, seed, שהם חמרים, they are all kinds of objects, of uh, substances, שמשתמשים בהם לניקוי ולכביסה, you used to use them in order to wash things, in other words, uh, washing materials. Like sabon. Yeah, in that time they used to use these materials to wash clothing. Shiuram, again, what's the measurement until you're obligated? Kedei lechabes beged katan besvacha. In order to clean the smallest garment. Kmo shibiyarnu lai, like we explained above. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, even less. How much according to Rabbi Yehuda? Kedei lehavir ala ketem. If you can take a stain out, that's already enough. This is a stain that is found in a garment of a woman. And we don't know if this is a blood or coloring. Because we said, It says like this. It says if a woman comes and she sees a red substance on her undergarment. So it says, how do we know if it's uh, blood or if it's just color? So it says you mix up a couple of substances and you wash it. And then with these substances, it says if it came out, it's going to be one thing. If it didn't came out, it's going to be the other thing. Because blood and color react differently to these substances. So let's see. So it says, what are the seven things that we put on the stain in order to know if it's blood or just color? Rock tafel, we take a um, spit, umay grisim, and water from grisim, it's a type of vegetable, may reglai, we take urine, veneter uburit, types of soaps, Kamunia ve'ashlag, all these seven kinds, all kinds of soaps. Ve'im ha'ketem lo avar, if the, it still remains, if it's blood, it says it would have went out. But if it's coloring, then we know if the spot did not get cleaned, be'yadu ashu tseva, I know for sure this is coloring, and then she's still pure, she doesn't have to worry about it. וסובר רבי יהודה, and רבי יהודה thinks, ששיעור כל המיני חמרים הללו, that the measurement for all these things, להתחייב על ארצותו בשבת, 
והוא כשיעור שמעבירים על הכתם. It is the measurement that you have on a stain. ואין הלכה כרבי יהודה, but the law is not like רבי יהודה, because according to רבי יהודה it's the stain, according to it to be a stain, it's like, like the size of a penny, a little bit more than a penny. Yeah, that's not much. So with the halacha is not like Rabbi Yehuda, you need much more stuff than that. You need the amount of like, like this much, not just like a penny. And the halacha is not like Rabbi Yehuda. <laughs>